Hey everybody, Game Time with Kirby here, and we're about to do World 2 of KBP World 3. Let's get started. Waterflow Valley 1, 2-1, Valley Sightseeing. Alright, so this level isn't too hard. There's about one hard or hard part about this level. The rest of it, fairly easy. This is the level in the last video about that guy I was talking about that he got to. Um, the really only trouble he really had was towards the end, I think. I think. I don't know if he had any trouble with the middle part, but the ends was probably the hardest for him because he got past the middle part, so I'm assuming he didn't have any trouble. Um, but see, on this one, you kind of have to get it perfect right there so you can stomp on him, and then that guy comes out. Um, when I put him there, I actually did not think he was... I actually did not think he was going to be that much of an important factor, but really, when I put him there, I had no idea that he was going to jump out and do that, like that, you know? Like, I didn't have any idea that it would trick anyone, because it has tricked me before, so... Alright, so there's a Lakitu right here that keeps coming back. Boy, another Lakitu, how fun! Okay, so those charging chucks can't get us now, and this is probably the worst part of the level. Not too bad, but pretty bad. Uh, later in the game, there are worse parts of the game that have uh, jumping fish. So, uh, actually, where did they go? Okay, I'm just gonna save state here. Uh, okay, there we go. I just like spin jumping on them because it makes a cool sound. Um, anyways, uh, see this part isn't too bad. I don't know where the fish went though. Oh well. Um, yeah, that was a blind jump, but I mean, where else are you supposed to go? It doesn't really say, so you really, you really have no choice but to jump down. So, anyways, okay, that was cool. Um, I'm trying to get a 1-up here, so I have an extra 1-up. Not like it really matters in other videos when I start closing the program, but it will matter now because World 2 is pretty... World 2 is fairly long. So, anyways, the Lakitu comes back. We can kill him again. Not very hard. Um, I'm trying to get a 1-up here, so there we go. 1-up. Not too, not too hard to get a one up there, and that's the end of this level. Uh, the next level, the next level gets a little bit harder. Um, I can't remember which level it is, but I'm, I can guarantee you this world gets pretty hard. So Waterflow Valley Two, let's get started. As you can see, it's called Waterflow Valley Two or Waterflow Valley because of the water. Yeah, this is the level I thought it was. I wasn't, I couldn't recall the name. Um, but this is called Ghostly Tides 2-2. Uh, let's get started. So, that was a little late. Um, but anyways, as you can see, it's just, uh, it's like the level Mondo. Or, is it called Mondo? I think it's called Mondo. Um, it's like the level Mondo in Super Mario World. Out where the layer 3 comes up and down with the tides, so... Just gotta wait for it right here, cause if you go any further, you won't be able to make it and you'll fall into the black piranha plants. So you just gotta wait for the tide to come back up and that should be good. Uh, luckily the boo buddies are... The boo buddies left an opening for me. See, you could get to there, but it's pretty hard to do while the water's falling down at like full speed. And that was pretty much level, so... After this, there's a... Uh, after this, there's the goal. So this is basically the last part of the level. So there, there's the end. So that was that one wasn't too bad. Um this next level could give you trouble though. Um if you don't know how to beat this level then you're probably gonna get a game over here. It's basically like trial and error with some of these levels. So, this is 2-3 Ghost Scroller, or, um, Waterflow Valley 3. See, that invisible box there. You can't spin jump on these boos either. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that invisible coin box there. Um, I'll show you the proper way to beat this level. You don't want to get stuck there or else you'll probably end up dying. You want to you wanna jump on this one early so that you can get to this one. This one's like cutting it close though. Yep. But if you don't jump on this one, like if you don't, if you're not able to stay on this one, you'll die. And, and then right when the screen's about to push you off, you have to jump right at that moment. And then jump over that. Um, jump over that. Get over there. You want to do you want to do this fairly fast because there are parts that will trap you, like right there. See how I had, how I did that fast and that boo showed up right where the platform was. It's impossible to get past that boo if you get stuck there. So you want to you basically want to be ahead of the level. If you, if you know what you're doing, it's not as bad. This level's not as bad as if you know what you're doing. So, this is pretty much the end of the level. There's two exits here. Uh, so, if you don't like this level, I would recommend just getting the regular exit. For oh, crap. I would recommend just getting the regular exit. exit. Yeah, and that glitch happens too. Uh, it happens when the Boo Buddies, or not the Boo Buddies, the reappearing Boos come. There we go. So if that glitch happens to you, and you accidentally save state, and you go out of the level, um, it will show up in the overworld, but to fix it, just reset the game. It doesn't really matter, so. Um, so that was Waterflow Valley 3, this is Waterflow Valley 4, but I am going to do Waterflow Valley 3 again. Um, I will, I'm gonna show it because I want you to see, um, basically the whole game. Um, I mean, it's the same level, but I'll show you, oh crap, I kind of forgot what I was doing there for a second. Um, so basically you just have to beat the level again, not much to say. Um, not much to say since this level we just, I, since I just showed you this level, you know. Not much to say here, um, other than just follow the same path because the booze. Oh wow, because the booze pretty much reappeared in the same spot, I think. So, oh wow, that was cool. So, actually, they're reappearing in different spots, but the first time through, they will always reappear in the same spots. So, you just gotta, it's not too hard to figure out that they will probably appear anywhere where you're at so yeah so they're appearing in different spots this time which is fine we can get through it i don't have much experience with this pattern though so so basically basically we're just gonna do this level all over again because the secret exit is not until the end. I mean, that was totally a troll on my part. A troll move on my part. So basically, jump over that boo goal. It's pretty obvious where the exit is, actually. Um, pretty obvious. So, just go past here. At first, it might look like, um, it, at first it might look like there's nothing here. And that you missed the goal. But if you keep going, there's actually a key. There's actually a key here. So you just want to keep following this path. Um, you're not going to die or anything unless you hit the ghost. Or if you save state right when they reappear on top of you. That's a bad idea. So always, a good tip is to save state whenever they reappear. Not right before they reappear. As you can tell, I have not been save stating while they're appearing. Because I've learned from the past that if you save state while they're appearing, then um, then what's it called? They they pretty much kill you. So this is Waterflow Valley Extra EX. So two dash rest area paradise. So let's read this. Yo, it's that guy in the box here to say congrats. You made it to paradise, but beware, there's much danger ahead. Good luck. And he's pretty much right, you know. Uh, the next level, as if you saw it already, is a switch palace. So, I'm just gonna skip this. So, Waterflow Valley PAL, PAL, which stands for palace. 
which is pretty obvious since the the, the thing is a palace. So if you want switch palace? Yep, I made a whole entire switch palace based on forms. Now if I could just get past this part. Okay, I'm not doing so good. There we go. Now this part's the hardest. There we go, we got past the hard part. Now a good thing to do is to trick him, trick him, and then spin jump onto the other one. So, trick. You wanna jump off, move to the left a little bit, and then jump onto the next one. Jump off to that one, he can't get you even if it freezes. So then just go to the goal. Um, in this case, the goal is a switch palace. So you press on the switch, this, the message is still the same. And I'm gonna show the, I'm not gonna speed this up because this is cool. This always used to be my favorite part of playing Super Mario World, was that right there. Um, so basically now we're just gonna go to Waterflow Valley 4 and we will beat 2-4 uh, Petting Zoo. Petting Zoo is probably the hardest level, or one of the hardest levels, in World 2. So, just be aware that this level is really hard if you don't know what you're doing. Even if you know what you're doing, it's still fairly hard. Mostly because of this part right here. And yes, Hammer Bros. So, 2-4, just kill these. Gotta... This part's the hardest. You, you gotta trick him into going backwards. See, you gotta trick him into going backwards, but without killing him. So... Okay. Yeah, this, this part's really hard. You have to trick him while he's still... While he's still on the uh, piranha plants. So, I think I might just skip this part. Or not skip this part, like. Oh, there we go! Oh, there we go! Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay, I got this. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. I'm kind of being quiet. Okay. Okay. I had it the first time. There we go. Oh. That's what you're supposed to do. I did it kind of late, so. Okay. That's what you're supposed to do, so. It's kind of hard to do. Okay, I know how to do it. This requires a lot of hand-eye coordination, so... Sorry, I'm being really quiet. This this is the hardest part of this level, so I might just skip this to where I get it. Oh dang! Actually, I think I might have to get a 
but I think I might have to actually like, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so see, see now you know why this level is so hard, even if you know what you're doing. Um, and that's definitely the hardest part of the level. And man, really? Dang, two and one. So, we're getting back to the hardest part again. Dang. Okay. I'm just being really impatient now. So, I think after this level, I might cut this out. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to trick them or why they get tricked. Uh, but I do know that they get tricked and it's very hard to do. Especially when you have so little room to do it. So. Yeah, see, then that happens. And then you can't. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I know it happens sometimes, but like I said a few seconds ago, it's very hard to do. Um, I think I might just pause the video here. So, yeah. Um, oh god dang it, Capper Sky. Um, but anyways, when you, uh, when you saw, if you saw that earlier part, you'll know how to do it, so... Okay, so I did it, I did it, and um, it basically is the same thing as the other one, so, oh crap, okay, gotta click on SNES 9X, so it's the same thing that I showed you, except you have to do it a split second earlier, and you have to be running while you jump, uh, hold the whatever button you set it to for run, and um, yeah. So, it's basically the same idea that I showed you before. Um, it'll take time to get, but um, if you get it, kudos to you because it's really hard. Like, that's one reason I kind of stopped playing this one time. Just I would have got to World 2, and then I got to this level, and then like, dang, that level really sucks. So, um, oh crap, okay, yeah, kind of annoying, not too hard, this next part's not too hard, but there is, actually there is one more hard part, there is one more hard part, it's this part right here, I kind of don't remember how to do this part actually, um, this part's hard, yeah, see, you have to get it at the right second, and you have to do it fast. Whoa, what the heck was that? Um, there we go. Yeah, see, that was that was fairly difficult. Now this part, oh yeah, this part is the last part pretty much, and it's like the beginning. Except they're a small one, so it's like really. Oh god. Okay. And yeah, sometimes these big dino rhinos jump all the way to the top. So, oh, and there's a few. I think there's two more hammer grows. But in this side scrolling level, they're not so bad. You can, you can pretty much easily kill them in this one. Because they don't trap you in a place. Where you really have nowhere else to go. So, that was pretty easy. And that's the end of the level. So, that's World 2 4? Yeah. That level sucks. So, I'm gonna speed this up. Waterflow Valley 5. Yeah, we still have three more levels. 
I only get them all in the same video though, so. So, Race of Ted's, or Ted, whatever one it was. Um, quick little tip, you can, you can wait for that one, or you can do this one, which is higher up and easier to do. See how that one's lower? You can, you can do, this is a quick speed running tactic too, so. Or a Taz tactic, whatever, because I doubt anyone's going to speed run this game. So, yeah, see, those dolphins are really annoying. So, you gotta avoid them. Don't touch them. Try and not get on them. Because you need this Ted to get through the level. Um, so yeah. This is the only really hard part when you're on this one. Is this little dolphin right here. Once you get past this one, that one, then the le rest of the level will be easy. Because this is pretty much the end. But um, if you do the one that's lower... You can sometimes fall into the water, and the water is just like a dolphin, so you can't touch that either. And since the Ted has such a weird area to spin jump off of, um, it, you kind of die a lot on the lower one. Mm, it's a, it's a lot harder than this one, trust me. You pro if you're if you're a beginner or you just want to get through the level faster, I recommend doing this one. Because the bottom, I'm not going to show the bottom one, because that one takes forever. So. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. Yeah, um. Not much to say here. Except that this thing is brutally murdering me. God. Okay, this is pretty annoying. And yeah, you can't spin jump off them because it's so close to the ceiling. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Okay, maybe if I... Yeah, see, so you can't spin jump right on the... Yeah, see, and then... When I don't die, it just pushes me off, and when I avoid it, it pushes me back on, and then I die. What if... No. It's like, precise edge guarding, whatever we want to call it, I don't know. I don't know what those ties call, like, precision, accuracy, when you're like, right on the edge of a sprite's like area of whatever yeah see i don't know god i might have to split this into two videos this is getting really annoying there we go there we go you have to press r there we go. You have to press R slightly. Slightly press R. So Waterfall Valley 6. Lagoon Lagoon. This one's hard too. It's a torpedo based. Torpedo Ted based level again. And this part you have to have Torpedo Ted. There are some parts that are really hard in this level. I think it's like one part. It might take a while. So bear with me here. This game is fairly hard. So, I'm having trouble with the beginning, which means I'm probably screwed for the rest of the level. Okay, so, we got past that part. Most of these, you, I think all of them actually, you have to, you have to be, like, right on the last torpedo. Like this one. Because the ones that are in front go too fast, and then, yeah. So, most of these you'll have to wait towards the last torpedo and see what I was talking about in the last level. It's, it's a good thing to save state when you're in the air. Because when they're right on the water like that, it's kind of hard to spin jump off of them. You have to be 
like I was saying before, precise, 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 um, like, precise, precise. So, it's very hard and annoying. So, this is like a precision level, precision lagoon it should be called. Oh god. There we go. Um, I think that was one of the hard parts. See, th see, right on the bottom of there, I don't know if you can see it, but right there at the bottom, there are, are piranha plants, so. So it's probably a good idea. Oh god. Sometimes my emulator does that, um, so, yeah. See, this one, this one's good. It's right above the water, so you'll be able to spin on it fairly easily. And this one, this one's pretty hard. Like some of these, you have to be right on the right on the money. You have to know exactly when to do the big spin jump, and you have to do it right before it shows up, like the wall. See, so I mean, it's already been like five minutes. Of this level, I think, or four. I don't. I'm not exactly sure. Actually, I think it's only been three. So, anyways, there's one more part in this level. This is the end, I think. I think that part at the beginning was the hard part I was talking about. On oh, see this one. See this one has a spike. Uh, the black piranha plants on it. Sorry. So. You can't jump on there to like save yourself and see there we go I think that was the end of the level yep that was the end of the level so that's Lagoon Lagoon World 3-7 if I believe um, no this is World 3-7 or 2-7 Waterfall Valley 7 and this is a short level kind of hard it's called the Vanguard I named it that because it's like the, it's kind of like the, you know, Vanguard's like the front of the army, whatever, so I just kind of named it that because the boss in the next, and then you can probably guess what the boss in the next castle is going to be, so I don't even have to tell you, and you'll see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, and man, I'm having a hard time with this. Man. Okay. 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 And as you can tell, this is a fast auto scroll level. So basically, right here. Okay. So basically, right here, as you might have guessed I don't know if you guessed this but you don't want this uh, fishing boot to go away as you can see it gets you to the top and the goal right there so I told you that was a short level um it's short because the fast auto scroll at a certain point when you um, when you start when it starts moving to a certain point you can't move at all except for left and right and down and up but you like once it's going that fast you're not going to be able to go right or left you'll just stay in one place you can change where you um you can change uh your position in that one left corner but you can't move past the left corner um as you might have known from level one so waterflow valley castle two dash castle for the speed um uh, you don't really have to be that fast to beat this level, but the time is kind of small. So, actually, I've never done that before. Yeah, you don't have very much time to beat this castle, and it's really annoying, the boss. The boss is really annoying. There's an easier version of it in World 3, but, I mean... World 3 was pretty hard, I think, if I remember correctly. 
Oh god, I'm really failing now. Okay. Oh god. I thought I spin jumped right there. Okay, you can, um, not suck so much. Okay. Okay. KK. KK. Oh god. See. These levels just get really annoying sometimes. Oh god, I thought I died there. Okay, so this is this see you can tell why this boss is annoying. And save stating in the wrong time, in the wrong place, will kill you and you'll have to beat the level over again. And also, you have to end on one of these blocks. God. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry for not talking there. Um, I'm not so good at this let's playing stuff. I never was. But anyways, I'm trying to get this block. You definitely do not want to have to end on this block. So what I do is I take the first one or the middle one right there to the right. And I usually get those ones first. Either one of them I get first and then I go to this one. And I usually end, I usually end on the one to the left. And as you might have already been able to tell, the oh my gosh. Okay, as you might have already been able to tell, the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga um song is playing. Okay. Oh god. God. Yeah, there's very little water. There we go. And that's the end of the level. That is World 2. And man, this was a 32 minute episode. Dang. Um. So that was World 2. Not all of the castles have things at the end telling you. I think this is the last one till World 5. Um. So. Yeah. It's the same cutscene. But as Super Mario World. Okay. I have found my way through the base of the mountain. Now I must scale to the top. Kirby, I will find you. You won't get away from your fate this time. And there we go. World 2 is now over. And in the next episode, we will start... Um, I forget what this world's called. Um, Destiny Plateau. Okay, we will start Destiny Plateau Ghost House in the next video. So, stay tuned for more... Let's play KPP Rule 3. This is Game Time with Kirby, signing out. Mm -hmm.